people that know me know that there was a major life event uh, for me 12, almost 12 years ago in 2010 when my wife of almost 19 years, Angie, passed away. At the time, our children were 11, 9, 7, and 2. And for years after her death, I tried to be the parent or the dad that I thought Angie wanted me to be. Um, I tried to be the dad and the son and the son-in-law that you know my in-laws and my parents wanted me to be. I tried to be the surviving spouse that I felt like the community wanted me to be. And in the process, I got very lost because I was trying to be something that other people wanted me to be, or so I thought. In my professional work, there's a lot of leaders that do the same thing. They try to be the manager that other people want them to be, whether it's the organization, the ownership, or their subordinates. And after, I don't know, nine or 10 years of trying to be the parent that I thought other people wanted me to be, I finally got clear on who I was supposed to be. So that's the advice today, is that no matter how you're feeling pulled to be somebody that other people want you to be, or so you think, trust yourself enough to be the person that you're called to be, and the people that truly love you and support you and respect you will respect the fact that you're finally being yourself.